Hey guys, we just want to, or I just want to give you a big thank you on behalf of my son Joe and me. Uh, our channel we've picked up here on YouTube. Uh, over 400 subscribers here very recently within this past week. Uh, we broke the 4,000 hours viewed mark. We, we are just waiting on the update right now for that. <clears throat> so we just wanted to thank everybody that's come along for the ride, especially those at the beginning and middle and the new folks too. Thank you so much. Uh, I have been putting out and I will give a suggestion to you folks uh we're our channel set up for pretty much single uh subject which is uh boxing uh, but from time to time i'll put views of myself out or whatnot uh or views from myself on certain issues or whatnot of the day or the moments as they're happening or things that I may see um, and but for the whole 99.8 percent of the time our channel is just focused on boxing so I came up with the idea that I would just go ahead uh, I'm sure others have done it repeatedly themselves but uh, I said, I'm going to get these non-copyrighted uh, older boxing fights that I, I enjoyed a lot or boxing fights that uh, maybe had a particular reason to them uh, a little bigger than the fight itself. And I'm going to start putting up some of these fights and... Uh, unbeknownst to me even as a old man as I am a lot of you younger people like these like these fights as well uh, a, a lot of feedback from the younger set that uh, uh, didn't get to see them as they happened as I did but uh look back on it and are shocked and amazed at how boxing used to be and how many younger folk are thinking that boxing was a lot better back then than it is today which it was oh boy boxing man it was something back then boy let me tell you it was something back then so we're going to be getting some putting some more new content out i will keep thinking in fights that i enjoyed and uh i will get them put up uh, or what fights that i can i will get them put up so you can enjoy them as i did many years ago and uh we're, again we're just very thankful to everyone for subscribing uh, we will be going to a uh, new gym for Joe to spar uh, will be this will be probably towards the end of next week I believe uh, and I'm going to start putting up sparring footage of Joe uh, you guys know I keep everything close to the vest. I don't really like showing hardly anything. Uh, but Joe's telling me, come on, Dad, let's show some more stuff. Because he's worked so hard with what he does. And I feel like he's at the point now he should be able to decide uh, what is what he wants to some of the things more the things that he wants to put out uh, a little bit about joe to these hundreds of new subscribers uh joe's 14 he will be 15 next month 
Uh, Joe was hovering between uh, about 185 to 95 pounds the last six months. Uh, the past couple of months, his weight's been going down, and he's hovering around 178 to 182 right now. And he's a big boy for his age, a big boy. Uh, but he's getting in, getting into what what is called the the boxing body, the boxing package. So his body's changing. He's going through a little bit of a growth spurt right now. We don't know where his height is going to end. Uh, he's getting approaching 5'10 right now. Uh, just have to wait and see how tall he's going to get. Uh, what's going to work out there. And what's going to be his comfortable uh, weight. So, And when I say comfortable weight, obviously, I mean a comfortable fight weight. Uh, because you got to find that to continue in, in boxing. But right now in amateurs, I'm not so worried about. Uh, he would still be in the heavyweight class for uh, 14, 15, 16-year-olds. So uh, in a month, I'm going to say 14 with 15-year-olds. I'm, I'm going to be saying 15 with 16 year olds for the age grouping. So uh, it's remarkable he's growing so fast. Uh, so that's about it with him. Also, he's a, a straight A across the board student. Never give me or anybody else other than bullies or troublemakers in the neighborhood. Uh, other than those guys, he's never given anybody a single lick of trouble. Uh, uh, other than scaring half to death somebody standing in front of him inside the ring. So, uh, which is normal and not really giving the grief in a, in a worldly way. So, we're very fortunate up in here. And we want you to be fortunate up in there where you are and from time to time I'll put some rant videos out uh, that ain't that will never stop that will continue to be and continue to happen as long as I see the stupidity and ignorance that has took hold and growing in this world right now so uh, you get everything here you get uh, everything from the craziness from women uh, uh, competing against men in sport to the feminization of men to uh, trying to tell other men how to conduct themselves on Father's Day. You know, the, the whole host, everything somewhere in the middle and between of that. So, uh, and what we're even... And when I said that, what we, we, this world has developed into, we've given fathers, of that Father's Day has even, we give away psychologically without realizing it, that we can't, men, man can't even have a special day. So without having to, you know, praise women during that day. And I'm not a, we're not against women here, but we're against the effeminization of man. And uh, you should be too, whether you are a man or a woman, because that's one of the biggest problems going on in the world today. And a real woman should not want uh, an effeminate sissy man. And uh, a real man should not want a woman that would want an effeminate man. So we get on, we talk about some of those things and different things here and there. So this is a little bit of controversy to the younger generation that goes on here from time to time. So uh, you never know what you'll get uh, when you come around. Uh, if you see a video of me, just keep in mind and bear with me that sometimes I have to go clear around the block to take one step forward 
to what I'm trying to tell you. So bear, bear with me on that. But the good part is if you're patient and you listen, you may pick up on a bit of tour of wisdom uh, and things to think about along your journey in life. And that's what it's all about. Uh, when I was a younger man, we intently listened to the older folk. The older folk aren't talking today, uh, but I, I truly believe, and here's Rocky, our German shepherd back here, if you see his ears here. Uh, we, uh, younger folk are wanting to listen to older people, and it's just older people are not talking anymore. My, my generation is about afraid to even say anything in general. And I'm not afraid. I'll, especially if you ask me. You ask me something, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. And I will not hold back even, even if I know it's going to hurt your feelings. Uh, and that's a big problem today in this world. We've got a generation of young people coming up that... Uh, when the truth is told, it hurts, and therefore they don't want to tell the truth. So you got a huge chunk going over here. But praise be to God, there are a lot in, in the younger generation that are going to fix and correct what my generation has handed them because we made a mess of it. And I talk about that from time to time. So... Long story short, you can hear a lot about you know, and some interesting stories about boxing in the yesteryears. Uh, you can hear about how I, I tell the truth about my generation handing you young boxers a lot of grief and a lot of trouble and a messed up generation. And you can hear me hyping and hyping and pride of you, you guys in this younger generation that's, that takes stands. So, with a whole bunch of other stuff in there. So, if that makes any sense to you. But we are very thankful to everybody that has subscribed here. Uh, and we hope to keep putting some good fights out. That Things that, that I enjoyed at the time. Uh, that you can enjoy now and I can enjoy reminiscing in and uh, hopefully you'll hang on for the ride and uh, get more interested in Joe and what he's doing in boxing as his uh, growth continues and we continue to move forward in his amateur boxing so thanks to everyone uh, Know you this, most videos I end with, if you get a knock at the door to your heart, make sure in this messed up world, it is the real king of kings. Uh, it's the most important thing to remember. And another thing that's as equally important is, if you figure it out, it's him. Open that door and let him in. Uh, there is nothing like the inward peace that can come to you and that God can provide to you during times of chaos and trouble. So we always say that to everybody, to all our friends. We love you. Uh, we wish God's blessings upon you. And we will check you later.